before starting the exercises i want two clarifications about uh, uh, the previous lecture so when extending the radon nikodim theorem when mu nu are sigma finite measures then i said that x can be written as union n equals 1 to infinity en and also equal to union m equals 1 to infinity fm okay and mu of en less than plus infinity for all n mu of fm less than plus infinity for all m sorry not mu but nu okay and what i forgot to say but maybe you already realize is that en are all disjoint and fm are also disjoint we split up into disjoint sets and then of course we took en intersection fm and then uh, extended it to the uh, uh, from the finite case to the sigma finite case so this is the first clarification the second one is about the lebesgue decomposition theorem this more serious so so we what we did was we said that new is of course absolutely continuous with mu plus nu and we then saw nu of e is equal to integral f d mu plus nu okay and then we took the set a is set of all x in x such that fx is bigger than or equal to 1 and then we proved that nu a is greater than or equal to mu a plus f a uh, nu a and then we said that this implied that mu a equal to 0 but this only because when mu a is finite so works so this about the proof works when mu is finite because I have been harping on this a long time when you subtract and cancel things on either side then it is you can only do it if it is a finite quantity ok so uh, so how do you do so assume now nu is sigma finite and then of course we uh, we rewrite x as equal to union n equals 1 to infinity e n nu of e n is finite for all n e n disjoint okay and then so for each e n we can apply the previous whatever we have done before so there exists nu naught n and nu 1 n such measures nu equals nu naught n plus nu 1 n on e n okay and nu naught n is singular with respect to mu nu 1 n is absolutely continuous with respect to mu for each n you can do this and then you take a n contained in e n a n is mu of a n is positive and uh, sorry equal to 0 and nu naught n is identically 0 on a n complement let me be more precise e n minus a n because everything is now defined only on e n so now if e is in s you define nu naught of e as sigma n equal to 1 to infinity nu naught n of e intersection e n and nu 1 of e equals sigma n equals 1 to infinity nu 1 n 
of E intersection EN. So, easy to see that these are measures. Nu naught and nu one are measures. Countability is simple because if the ENs are already disjoint, and then further you have a disjoint thing. So you apply countability in each one of them. Yeah, double summation is no problem because everything is non-negative. Okay. Uh, fine. So now, if you take nu of e, let's see equal to sigma n equals one to infinity nu of E intersection E n by definition because E n's are all disjoint and then that is equal to sigma n equals 1 to infinity nu naught n E intersection E n plus nu 1 n E intersection E n because on E n you have nu equals nu naught n plus nu 1 n and that is equal to nu naught uh, of E plus nu 1 of E and therefore we have nu equals nu naught plus nu 1. Now you said A equals union a n n equals 1 to infinity then mu of a is 0 and what is a complement this is intersection n equals 1 to infinity a n complement so if e is contained in a complement okay then what is nu naught of e is equal to sigma n equals 1 to infinity nu naught n of e intersection uh, e n okay and then but what is e intersection e n e intersection e n is uh, e is contained in a complement which is the intersection of all this so this is contained in a n complement because of the definition uh, of this so this is equal to intersection a n complement so e intersection a n complement and therefore each one of them is zero and therefore this is equal to zero so new not identically zero on a complement and therefore this implies that new not is absolutely uh, is singular with respect to mu. The other one is more easy of course if mu e is 0 this implies that mu of e intersection e n is 0 this implies that mu 1 n of e intersection e n is 0 because nu 1 n is absolutely continuous with respect to mu on e n and therefore you have nu 1 of e which is equal to sigma n equals 1 to infinity nu n 1 of e intersection e n equal to 0 and this implies that nu 1 is absolutely continuous with respect to mu and this completes the proof of the thing in the sigma finite case. So, the proof which I gave in the previous uh, video is only applicable to finite measures when nu is finite, but then it is a very simple extension to the sigma finite case. Okay, so now let us do some exercises. First one xs measurable space mu signed measure which is finite show that for every e in s we have mod mu of e equals sup over integral f uh, so mod f less than equal to 1 integral f d mu over e. So, solution. So, mu is finite implies mu plus mu minus are finite. 
बिकॉज म्यू प्लस ऑफ ई इज म्यू ऑफ ई इंटरसेक्शन ए म्यू ऑफ ई इंटरसेक्शन ए इज फाइनाइट एंड देर फोर सिमिलरली म्यू माइनस इज ऑल्सो फाइनाइट एंड देर फोर इफ मॉड एफ इज लेस इक्वल टू वन देन इंटेग्रल एफ डी म्यू ओवर ई is equal to modulus integral e f d mu plus minus integral over e f d mu minus and both of these are well defined and therefore so this is well defined because all these are finite and therefore you have this and also this is now less than or equal to integral of mod f d mu plus plus mod of integral d, d mu minus mod of is less than equal to 1. So, this is mu plus of e plus mu minus of e which is equal to mod mu of e. So, if you have this therefore soup mod f less than equal to 1 integral f d mu over e this is less than equal to mod mu of e. Now we have to show the reverse inequality. So you take x equals a union b Hahn decomposition. And you take f equal to chi a minus chi b. So mod f is identically equal to 1. And if you take integral over e f d mu, this is equal to integral over e f d mu plus minus integral over e f d mu minus. This is equal to f is what? Chi a minus chi b and therefore this is mu plus of a intersection e minus mu minus mu plus of a intersection uh, sorry b intersection e okay but mu plus of b intersection e is a, this is a subset of b and therefore this is equal to 0 okay minus mu minus of a intersection e again this is 0 and plus mu minus of b intersection e. so this is equal to mu plus of a intersection e plus mu minus of b intersection e and that's equal to mu plus of e plus mu minus of e and that's equal to mod mu of e because mu and mu plus they agree on subsets of a. And therefore, I have found a function whose modulus is 1 uh, and which achieves this and therefore, this says that the soup of integral f d mu over e mod f less than equal to 1 is greater than equal to mod mu of e. And so, we have both the inequalities and consequent and hence the result. Okay. Second exercise x s measurable space mu signed measure and mu equals mu plus minus mu minus is the Jordan decomposition. Okay, if there exists measures mu 1 and mu 2 such that mu equals mu 1 minus mu 2 show that mu plus is less than equal to mu 1 and mu minus is less than equal to mu 2. Okay, so mu plus and mu minus are in some sense minimal with respect to this thing.
So solution 0 is less than equal to mu plus of E which is same as mu of E intersection A. which is equal to mu 1 of E intersection A minus mu 2 of E intersection A. Now both are the second term minus some non-negative thing. So this is less than or equal to mu 1 of E intersection A and that is less than or equal to mu 1 of E. And therefore this implies that mu plus is less than or equal to mu 1. Similarly, 0 is less than or equal to mu minus of E, which is equal to minus of mu E intersection B, which is equal to mu 2 of E intersection B minus mu 1 of E intersection B. Again, this is a non-negative number and therefore this is less than or equal to mu 2 of E intersection B, which is less than or equal to mu 2 of E. And therefore, you have mu minus is less than or equal to mu 2. Three x s measurable space mu nu sigma finite measures and mu is equivalent to mu. That means Remember, is mu is less than nu and nu is also less than equal to mu. Show that d mu by d nu is equal to 1 by d nu by d mu. And this is almost everywhere with respect to mu implies and implied by almost everywhere with respect to nu because mu and nu are equivalent and therefore uh, almost everywhere with respect to mu is the same as almost everywhere with respect to nu. So solution. So let us take f equals d mu by d nu and g equals d nu by d mu. f and g are non-negative because they are measures. Okay. So nu e is equal to d nu by d mu d mu. So that is equal to g d mu over e. That is the definition of the radon nicotine derivative. But then we have seen that this is equal to integral g f d nu. Therefore, for every e in s, you have integral over e 1 minus g f d nu equal to 0. So now you take e n equals 1 minus g f uh, bigger than 1 by n and then this will imply that mu of e n is 0. And that implies that mu of E is 0, where E equals set of all 1 minus G F strictly positive. Similarly, mu of F equal to 0, where F is 1 minus G F strictly less than 0. Sorry, it is nu, not mu. Of course, and of also this implies that mu e equals mu f equal to 0. Okay. So, and so you have that uh, 1 minus 1 equals fg almost everywhere, mu almost everywhere. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. Okay.
Okay, so with this we conclude this chapter. So next time we will start a very important topic namely this Lebesgue spaces or LP spaces.